So welcome back to my channel on HubSpot. Today we are going to learn how to use projects inside HubSpot. So you need to plan your growth, manage different projects with your different teams. I'm sure you need your HubSpot to manage, for example, your personal goals like workout, wedding, uh, baby showers. You, you, you don't do that? I'm in my 30s, so be kind. So of course, you need to plan your growth, manage different projects with your different teams. We will talk about how to manage your team projects and organize your team with tasks, subtasks, and so on. So don't be afraid. I will show you how to do that right now. So let's dive in. So go to your HubSpot and on the top right, you click on your accounts and you search for projects. You click on projects and here you will see you get all your projects on the life bar and you get all the tasks linked to that project here. Okay. So you have one task, for example, like set up your accounts and you have subtasks. You can create subtasks here. You can create new tasks here. But how do you create a new project? So here you have create projects. You can create from templates. So there are a bunch of templates already inside your HubSpot. So for example, I can search for marketing. And now you will see you have plenty of templates. So I will filter with English. And you can filter also by tags, OK? But here, for example, uh, marketing general setup task can be a good template. And if you click on view template, you can see a bunch of tasks you can have from this template. But let's say you want to create your own project, create project, name it, new project, create. And now you have your project. So for example, we can say blog post around HubSpot project and you press enter. So you will see you have your new task over there. You can, of course, uh, rename it here. You can assign to someone inside your team. You can change the due date. You can add some description. Uh, you can mention people, uh, like for example, here I can mention Pauline. You can add a description. You can, of course, add some links, external content, and so on. Add some file from your desktop and leave a comment, of course, so everyone can comment on this kind of task. If you want, you can still delete that task here, by the way. And now I want, for example, to create a subtask. I just click on subtask and I can write, for example, brainstorming. I pressed enter, I can create a new task, or I can add some description to that task on the brainstorming description or the due date, for example. Let's say you want to change a few things on your project. You can click on show project details. You can select assignee, due date, description, same thing, add files. But of course, you can delete project, archive project, or create a template from this project. So you can have your own template, OK? And if I go back to all tasks, so I will see all tasks assigned to me, but I can check also for anyone. I can filter by date. I can filter by complete, incomplete, and of course, filter by project. So I hope you learned a lot on how to manage projects inside HubSpot. So your marketing campaigns or whatever campaigns you want, assigning tasks, subtasks, and commenting and so on. If you like this tutorial, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing plenty of tutorials to learn how to use HubSpot really easily. And if you have any question, feel free to ask inside the comment section so I can answer to you. Bye.